Charlie. Charlie is feeling happy. Who else is feeling happy? Is it Sally? Or Dan? Well done. William is taking Charlie across the estuary. That's his favourite thing to do. How is William feeling? Is he sad? Or happy? You're doing very well. Who is feeling happy? Is it Charlie? Or Sally? Well done. Jenny wants to go back to the junction, but her wheel has buckled. How is Jenny feeling? Is she happy? Or sad? No, that's not right. Have another go. Jenny wants to go back to the junction, but her wheel has buckled. How is Jenny feeling? Is she happy? Or sad? You're doing very well. Oliver is feeling happy. Who else is feeling happy? Is it Nigel? Or Charlie? Well done. Who is feeling sad? Is it Jenny or William? You're doing very well. Charlie thinks Jenny will be at the junction, but he finds that she is not. How is Charlie feeling? Is he surprised or disgusted? Charlie thinks Jenny will be at the junction, but he finds that she is not. How is Charlie feeling? Is he surprised? Or disgusted? You're doing very well. Barney is fixing Jenny. He likes helping his friends. How is Barney feeling? Is he happy? Or angry. Well done, that's the last question.
If Arnold gets sick, who should we notify? Well, his shirt is next of skin. My body is made up of trillions of cells. I'm going to be a doctor when I grow up. Hello to everybody, Liz. And hey, let me clue you in on something. We're going to do something with Ms. Frizzle that you could never do in real life. For example, you could never really drive a bus into someone's mouth. And I don't care how little you are, you can't go scuba diving in somebody's small intestine. You know this, and I know this, and we all know you're smart enough to know what's real and what's not. When you're ready, Click on the bus and have some fun! Ready for adventure? There are so many places to explore and so many games to play and experiments to try. We could be here all day just talking about them. Click on the bus when you're all set and off we go! Did you ever think of clicking on the bus?
This stuff's incredible! I want to see more! If Arnold gets sick, who should we notify? Well, his shirt is next of skin. Is Miss Frizzle here yet? Is Frizzle here yet? Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Next thing that you know, you see it. Octopus in the neighborhood, surfing on the sine wave, swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a left at your intestine, pick your second right past Mars on the magic school bus. Navigator, nostril, climb on the magic school bus. Make a plane, turn two. Drop your bones right to the sea. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete. You might get back into a pile on the magic scuba. Step in, 
inside, it's a wild ride. Come on, ride on the magic school bus. My body is made up of trillions of cells. Hello there and welcome to MSB TV. As a producer on this project, I just want three things to be very clearly understood. To find out what those things are, click on one of our three stations. A school bus can enter someone's body and kids can go on a tour. True or false? False. That could not happen in real life, not even to Arnold. But we had to make it happen. Otherwise, this science adventure would have been about a trip to a science museum instead of a trip through the body. White blood cells actually chase and destroy germs. True or false? True. As unbelievable as it seems, real white blood cells actually behave just like the ones in this product. I mean, there aren't really little police cars actually streaming through your body, but white blood cells do act like police cars. They really do chase after germs and destroy them with the purpose of making the body healthy again. Like the kitten around game in the kidney. Well, you know there isn't really a car wash in your kidney, but the kidney does work like a car wash, cleaning all the blood that passes through your kidney every second of the day. What can I say? Artistic license? Ms. Frizzle really knew where Arnold was the whole time. True or false? Hmm. Probably true. No one is absolutely sure, but most people think Miss Frizzle knows everything. A field trip about the human body? I'd give an arm and a leg to go on this one. We are going on our best field trip yet, class, because today we're going to take a trip inside the human body. Don't you worry about how we'll get there. The bus will take care of that. Ooh, what a fascinating and wonderful place the body is. If you have any questions, just click on Liz and she'll help you out. Say hello to everybody, Liz. Hello to everybody, Liz. And hey, let me clue you in on something. 
we're going to do something with Ms. Frizzle that you could never do in real life. For example, you could never really drive a bus into someone's mouth. And I don't care how little you are, you can't go scuba diving in somebody's small intestine. You know this, and I know this, and we all know you're smart enough to know what's real and what's not. When you're ready, click on the bus and have some fun. Ready for adventure? There are so many places to explore, and so many games to play and experiments to try. We could be here all day, just talking about them. Click on the bus when you're all set, and off we go! Oh, the foot bone's connected to the leg bone. The leg bone's connected to the... Yeah, you know the rest, don't you? Start from the top or work from the bottom. Or both if you want. I'm not sure I'm ready for this.
Get ready, everybody. The fun is about to begin. Did you know that the human body is mostly water? We're going to do Psst! Click here, and it's field trip time! I hope we get to study blood cells. It says here that the stomach works like a built-in food processor. The mouth.
looking for the express lane? The nervous system is connected to everything and will get us anywhere you want and nothing flat. Let's give Arnold something else to do by clicking on these. Every flavor is made up of the four tastes, sweet, sour, salty, and bitter, and different areas of the tongue sense them. Yay! Mmm. Phew. Hey!
I know. Let's click on Ralphie's computer to play one of his video games. Does the mouth really digest food? Sure. This is where food digestion begins. The mouth breaks the food down into smaller and smaller parts. And it's all downhill from here. What did the mouth say to the tongue? Don't give me any lip. We have different types of teeth to do different jobs. Our front teeth, the incisors and the canines, cut and tear food. Our rear teeth, the bicuspids and molars, crunch and grind food. Got a split for a while? Click on this and I'll catch you around. The mouth does a lot of work. Does it get paid? Yes, by the salary gland. Watch out! Arnold's mouth is moving! He's starting to eat us! Relax, Carlos. Arnold's just talking. Our mouths also move when they shape sounds into words. Why is the tongue so sleepy? Because the baby teeth keep it up all night long. The tongue has about 10,000 tiny taste buds. Different parts of the tongue detect different flavors. There are four basic tastes. Sweet, salty, sour, and bitter. Place the sounds here, in order, or Ms. Frizzle will sound really silly. Platelet. Let plate. Remember. Remember. Stomach. Stomach. Carbohydrate. Drate. High. Bow. Car. Every time you go to a new area, you pick up a new tool for splatting.
Into the esophagus class and down the hatch. Looking for the express lane? The nervous system is connected to everything and will get us anywhere you want and nothing flat. This is so amazing!
Chocolate bar. Cheese, cheese, cheese. Broccoli, 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 broccoli. Use these to turn and move the falling blocks. Now, the act you've all been waiting for. Here's the small intestine.
Whatever path you take, your tunnel has to wind up here. This is really interesting. This is all very unusual. This is all very unusual.
and we'll click on one of these signs and let's see what else we can see. I know. Let's click on Ralphie's computer to play one of his video games. Whatever path you take, your tunnel has to wind up here.
Do you think the Frizz learned this kind of stuff in school? Nah, she was born knowing everything. There's some neat stuff in the box. Just click on it to make the tools come up. the heart. Clicking will flip the flippers back and forth, changing the way the ball...
star. Yeah. Mmm, yummy. Hmm. Oh, mmm. How do you convince the nose that it's not really stuffed up? Through hip noses. Move the locks and turn them around like a...
Fire me timbers! You get the ball in here, it'll return it to the top of the screen and fall again. Then maybe you can get it in the right cup. Introducing the kidneys.
everything going through the kidneys gets a good cleaning from buses to blood cells. Class, I'll make it plain. Now we're in the brain. These are electrical impulses in Arnold's brain. In this game, they can be destroyed by yellow neurons if you don't make the right match. There's some neat stuff in the 
the box, just click on it to make the tools come up. I know. Let's click on Ralphie's computer to got a split. Click on this to click on the explore Dorothy Annal. Anybody with their hand up probably wants to show you something. Wanna doodle something? Check out Tim's splat kit. Let's ask Tim what I know. Let's click on Ralphie's computer to play one of his video games. Got a split for a I know. Let's click on Ralphie's computer to play one of his video games. Every time you go to a new area, you pick up a new tool for splatting. Thank <laughs> you. 
You made it all the way through, Arnold. But now that you've been everywhere, do you really think you've done everything? Arnold's a little guy, but there's a lot going on inside him. Who knows what else you might find if you go back and click your way around a bit. COPD is hard around the folks around you, I think. It affects my... Rock the Rock 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 the house Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Next thing that you know, you see it. Octopus in the neighborhood, surfing on a sine wave, swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a left that you'll be testing. Take your second right back mark on the magic school bus. Navigator, nostril. Climb on the magic school bus. Make a plane turn to. So strap your bones right to the seat. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete. You might get baked into a pie on the magic school bus. Step inside, it's a wild ride. Come on, ride on the magic school bus. Now let's hit the beach!
twang. Splat! Mm. Splat! What are you clicking on me for? If you want to learn some more fun facts about the ocean, click on the pictures, and I'll tell you all I know. Fish don't have eyelids, so they can't ever blink them, which sounds painful. Of course, I don't even have eyes, so how would I know? Did you ever hold a shell up to your ear to hear the ocean? The sound you hear is not- Sea turtles have inhabited the ocean. Did you ever hold a shell up to your ear to hear the ocean? The sound you hear is not the ocean. It's the sound of your blood pumping in your ear. I always thought they put some kind of stereo system in there. Sea turtles have inhabited the ocean since the time of the dinosaurs. Hey, I bet I know how the sea turtle got its name. When the cavemen saw it for the first time, they said, Ugh, look, sea, turtle. You wouldn't think so, but fish can become seasick if kept on board a ship. I guess those fish don't have their sea legs. Or any kind of legs. Hey, watch where you're clicking on me. What are you clicking on me for? <laughs> ah, that tickles. What are you clicking on me? <laughs> ah. See that fish? That's Sunny. Help her get home by moving her with the arrow keys, but watch out for the rocks and the changing tide. Press the space bar to make her jump. The tide is high! <laughs> Thank 
Leap the peak. Do you want to play some more? What are you clicking on me for? If you want to learn some more fun facts about the ocean, come on, click on things. Limpets aren't very limp at all. They hold on the rocks with one of the strongest suction cups in the world. The suction cup of a limpet could hold a 70 pound weight. Hey, maybe they should call them strongets. To disguise themselves from enemies, sea urchins sometimes drape scraps of seaweeds over their spines. They'd use the seaweeds as scarves too if they had necks. If a lobster loses a leg when attacked by a predator, a new one grows back in its place. I guess it really knows how to get a leg up on its enemies. Hermit crabs borrow discarded seashells to protect their soft bodies. They'll carry the house around on their back until they get too big for it. Then they'll find a bigger house to move into. I want to know something. If they got their houses on their back, how do they fit a bed and kitchen up there? <laughs> 